Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Have you been searching for the perfect survival bag that you can just buy all in one kit, purchase it, you're out the door, throw it in your vehicle and you're ready to rock? What if you're looking for a survival kit can not only just purchase it, but it can help you thrive while you're going through your days or weeks long of survival. But that may sound familiar because I've said that exact same thing. However, I said that about the SE advanced survival kit. It is in your face. We talked about this before. This thing's a great kit. However, it's kind of pricey, over $500. It's never in stock. And you can maybe find a lot of the items from the uh, OEM that they definitely got a lot of their gear from. So I bring you the best glide ASE advanced wilderness survival kit. It's in your face. Nice OD green bag here. But before we talk about this, man, I'm the type of person that likes to motivate you, get you motivated about up in your man cave, your vehicle, you know, your tools prep. If you like that type of stuff, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Now, Best Glide ASC, you probably heard of them before, but they're not necessarily out in open public like SOG or 511. You know, all the other companies that want you to buy their survival gear, they're not one of them. Best Glide, SE, Tag, those type of companies pride themselves on survival gear. And they also win a lot of government contracts. And so they are not very forward facing when it comes to the consumer market because they're pumping out federal you know, federal awards. So back in 2002, two buddies got together. They decided they wanted to take a 1976 Cessna airplane from Houston, Texas to Fairbanks, Alaska. Well, when you're doing that type of trip, you are required to have certain aviation survival gear with you at all times. So they were having a hard time sourcing this gear. They were having crazy shipping charges. Plus it was more gear that on top of the mandatory gear that they wanted to keep with them at all times. So they decided to find their own company. So in 2002, Best Glide ASC was born and they went down to ASC to kind of not, you know, pigeonhole themselves to only being aviation survival gear. So this bag itself, this is an American made bag. It's made out of 1000D Cordero fabric. And the thing about this, this thing has self healing zippers on it. Self healing YKK zippers on it, as a matter of fact. What the heck does that mean? Self-healing means that basically if this bag, if these zippers were to unzip themselves anywhere along the track while it's zipped up, basically you just unzip it, you zip it back up and the, the zippers heal themselves. So it's very minimalistic on the outside. You do have a little bit of branding, kind of lets you know, adventure survival equipment. So they went from aviation survival equipment to adventure survival equipment made in the USA right there on the side of the bag. So it has two slip pockets on the outside, a couple of D rings on the outside, a shoulder strap, which I'm going to tuck that inside the bag. Now you may wonder why is it so minimalistic? Why can't this be carried on your back? This is made for egress, right? So if you're egressing from a vehicle, an airplane, something like that, you don't want stuff getting caught on that airplane while you're trying to or that vehicle while you're trying to get out of harm's way so you would definitely take this out as quickly as you could this kit is put together in categories food gathering food water information and medical so they have you know the bag itself is pretty comprehensive and so any kit that you decide to buy and just I would always advise you to go through your kit, make sure you're familiar with it before you just completely pull the trigger. So right here at the top, we have a complete bite and stings. This is for mosquitoes, snakes and wasps. This is by Sour. And this is an extraction kit. This is a venom extraction kit. If you've ever seen anything like that before, where basically you get bit, it gives you instructions on the back how to extract the venom. I've never done it before. And I've never even bought anything like this for any of my kits before. I'm gonna research that and definitely just keep that in my arsenal. And it's good to know that you have something like that. They give you a Brunton uh, base plate compass. 
So they're a direct competitor of Sunto. This is an American-made company, American-made comp uh, compass. You have a survival candle in here. So this type of candle, you would not really burn all three wicks at the same time. You really would just burn one at a time. And as that one began to go out, you kind of shift yourself over. If you see all three there, right on top of that, they give you some matches that are included in it. And then this thing, as long as you keep it sealed tight, should be water resistant or maybe even waterproof. This is made in Canada. So one thing about Best Glide is that since they do have a lot of government contracts, they do try to, they have to abide by the Buy American Act. That doesn't mean that all their gear has to be made in America. It usually means that it has to be made in a trade, a trade worthy country. So this kit in its entirety may not be for military use, but you're going to see a lot of stuff made in America or some of our partner countries because of the Buy American Act. So you have a two gallon water bag. So huge bag for you to be able to gather water, bring it back to a site and process that water. Hopefully they have something in here for you to actually process the water and boil it. So this bag itself contains several of these uh, low sacks. These are a direct competitor of the Worldly Packs. And so these are uh, leak proof and waterproof uh, packs. You double seal them and you just make sure you, you compress it down a couple of times to ensure you got a good seal on these things. This is a made in American company and same concept where if you have things that need to go in here and not get wet, you can put them in here or you can use this to transport water. So the kit contains several of these smaller type of kits within it. So we're going to bust each one open. This first one contains the survival fishing kit this is the basic version the basic survival fishing kit which this may look insanely familiar this is uh this actually is oem for best glide it is their basic fishing kit it may look insanely familiar because essie also uses their fishing kit so essie has their fishing kit in here so, you know, let you kind of know that this is a well-respected company when some of their competitors are OEMing their equipment. And the thing about their fishing kit is they also give you some literature on how to use that kit. Just in case you, you don't fish often or you haven't fished in a while, they give you some literature on how to actually string up the line. What does it mean to actually use this bait that they give you? So if you open this up, they have an entire diagram on how to use their fishing kit and then they give you a bunch of line they give you hooks they give you bait and i mean look how this is comprehensive so se uses their basic fishing kit se does not provide you this additional line and the thing about this is once you learn how to use the kit with the basic supplies that they've given you now if you're out there for a while you can get your own grubs your own worms uh, crickets, so forth and so on, and continue using that kit. So next here we have their magnification glass, which is used for fire starting. So they give you a couple of these for redundancy purposes. And you know, so that way, you know, you're good to go. And they give you some snare wire. You have some more matches in here. So there's matches in the actual, the survival candle that they give you. They give you some more matches that you can use in here. You got some snare wire. They have a, this is a P51 can opener. And this can opener has been used for decades. This is the same type of can opener my grandfather used in Vietnam. So you can use this as a can opener and or it also kind of doubles as like a cutting blade. There's a couple of coffee filters in here to filter water. So I'm assuming there's another way in there to purify water. This is going to get the big chunky dirt out of the water. It's not necessarily get all the bacteria and such out the water, but the water won't be so chunky. And then they're going to give you along with the fishing kit, they give you a good chunk of aluminum foil, which you can use in fishing scenarios for shiny bait. And you can also use this to help with the, with, um, if you're having to cook, or if you're trying to heat up water, so forth and so on. All right, so they give you a adventure spiral world saw. This is a uh, hand saw, and this is a made in America saw. So now you can take down, you know, two, three inch branches, something like that. They give you a couple of these head nets. 
It's kind of nice to be able to keep mosquitoes away from you. This first kit I've seen where they've kind of paid attention to that. They give you a, a survival sewing kit and a repair kit. So this kit has a patch in it, has a bunch of sewing stuff, some thimbles and some buttons and just all sorts of different stuff you may need. Some zip ties in here. They also give you some cordage. So, you know, simple things. You can use this for tying up shelters or, you know, a boot lace. You need a, something happens to your your freaking boots or something like that. And they give you some instructions on how to actually make repairs with this kit. So I'm liking the fact that they're not just giving you this stuff and not telling you how to use it. That's well appreciated. Here you have an emergency blanket. This is by Survival Outdoors, uh, Survive Outdoors Longer. So it is a brand that we've heard of before. So you can use this for making shelter. You can use this as a ground tarp. You can use it as a windbreak. It's 58 by 98 inches. So this is a really big emergency blanket. And I've never actually dealt with theirs before. Let's see, does it feel? Yeah, it feels durable. You A lot of times, whenever you have these emergency blankets, whenever you get your hands on them, you kind of give it a rub test between your index and your thumb. You can almost immediately tell how durable it's going to be. Can you wear it and walk around? Is it going to rip? So forth and so on. They give you another mosquito net or head net. So now they have the rations. So these rations, um, let's see, these are five year, actually, yeah. So these expire in 2025, that kind of sucks. So these were manufactured in 2020. They have a five year shelf life. So you're kind of getting the short end of the stick because they only have four years left. Not even that, yeah, about four years left, but they're packed full of vitamins. You can snack on these. There's, you can see clearly that there's nine cubes in here. You can eat these slowly. So the serving size is one bar. One bar contains 400 calories. So you probably can get away with eating two bars a day if you're, especially if you're supplementing with fish and other things, the kit. So they give you two of those. So here they give you some tick and insect repellent. And I mean, it may sound kind of mundane to have this in a kit, but it gives you 10 hours of protection. And this thing is 1.25 ounces. This is going to last a very long time in a survival situation. So they, they give you items that keep you comfortable and they're not giving you plan cards or any gimmicky stuff like that. So they give you a dye marker, high visibility fluorescent green dye marker. You can use this to mark trees if you're going through a trail. You can also use this to make a signal if you're trying to be seen from above. You don't want to forget which direction you went. That's a really great catch and find that they have in here. This is a signal mirror with an eye relief in the middle. I don't know if you can see that little hole in the middle there, but you can actually put your eye through the middle of this and use it to stare at the horizon, try to catch the attention of a plane and actually signal and try to get yourself rescued. This is a really good whistle. I bought one of these on my own. This is from Acme. This is a company out of England. This thing is really loud. I've only had one complaint about their whistles is that they're black and I kind of wish that they were uh, brighter and easier to see. And they give you a number two pencil. So I'm assuming there's something to write on coming up soon because I haven't seen anything yet. Hey, listen, if you're getting good content from this video, make sure you hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that this is something that should be shared with others. Now we're continuing on with this. They give you some drinking water. It is in a seemingly gallon Ziploc bag. This is not one of those bags that you can seal and, you know, use for anything other than something like this, or maybe storing something you don't want to get wet. Five year shelf life. Um, so these things are 4.25 ounces each. So this should be about a day's worth of water for one person. Depends on how you sip it and depends on the environment that you're in. Even if it's a cold environment, you still gotta stay hydrated. If you're trying to set up a shelter, if you're trying to walk to somewhere, whatever the case may be. This is their med kit. Their med kit is given to you in another one of these bags. I see an Israeli bandage in here. They got triangle, triangle bandages. They got some adhesive tape. There is, I mean, this seems like a pretty extensive kit. Eye wash in here, lots and lots of gauze and bandages. Uh, so an entire separate bag 
full of gauze and bandages, which I like the fact that this is separate and sealed so that you can just grab the one that you need and you're not possibly, if you're bleeding, right, you're not bleeding all over your bandages by opening this bag. So this is, a, I like the fact that this is pretty separate. They give you a lot of adhesive tape. This is 10 yards of one inch adhesive tape. That's a lot of adhesive tape. So this is something that I really like. They give you some lip guard. They give you sting pain relief. This is a uh, pretty extensive triple. Uh, so that basically Neosporin. This is an Israeli bandage you have. All right. So this is a uh, really cool. So they giving you ibuprofen. They're giving you some extra strength aspirin. It's just different medicines that you may need. Now, if you, obviously, if you know you're allergic to something, don't take it. But the fact that they're giving you this stuff and you're not even having to put this in the bag. So now you're just going to have to supplement this with any prescriptions that you may need. But there's a lot of over the counter medicine in here. They have non aspirin pain relief. They have real aspirin. They have ibuprofen. Um, they have things in here to stop diarrhea. They got a lot of this is a nice little collection of medicine there. So they give you these swabs. This is an antiseptic. You kind of use these and like cuts and stuff like that. Um, it's really they use these in preparation for surgeries, but you can use this in preparation to clean a cut. So they give you quite a few of these as well. This is a, a pretty decent med kit. They're not giving you anything crazy like swap tourniquets and, you know, tons and tons of Israeli bandages. But they are giving you stuff where it's going to be pretty practical that, you know, you cut yourself, you sprain an ankle you get stung by a bee, you got a headache, you got diarrhea, you know, stuff like that. So that this kit is pretty good. And there's room in the kit to add more of your own items. So they give you some chem lights. They give you two greens and one yellow. I would use the yellow most likely if I was trying to get some signal action going on. This is going to be 30 minutes of high intensity light. So, you know, I would definitely want to use that tied to the end of some paracord or something like that. Swing it in a circle, try to get noticed. And then they give you some additional green chem lights, which aren't as intense, but they do burn for 12 hours. So you got tinder. It's always nice to have some nice fire starter tinder. A pack. OK, so this is a pack light nine volt LED flashlight. And normally I'm all about double A AA or AAA only. This is a nine volt. If you keep the alkaline battery in here, it goes for 600 hours on low, 30 hours on high. If you buy your own lithium battery, it goes 1200 hours on low or 80 hours on high. So I do prefer AA or AAA, but in survival situations, sometimes you want something that's a little bit brighter. So the right in the rain pad, which is gonna be going with that pencil that we saw earlier. And this is not a shabby, small right in the rain pad. This thing has a lot of freaking paper. And they give you some waterproof matches with the striker on the outside. So now you even more redundancy, more matches more opportunities to start a fire. They give you another magnification lens, which you can use to help start a fire. They give you an actual ferro rod and striker. I've never, this is a, it's not branded. I don't know if it, and you know what? I'm not a big fan of how short this paracord is on it, but I mean, seemingly it's working first strike. So, all right. I may not be the fan of the length of the paracord, but it is working. So that's good. They give you some duct tape. I'm not sure how much is in there, but it looks like a nice, healthy amount of duct tape they give you there. And then they give you a razor blade. It's always nice to have a razor blade. Even if you're making cuts, you know, you can use a razor blade for when you finally do catch that fish to do a little bit of processing. You might even be able to use that at the correct angle to take off scales you know, cut out the guts, so forth and so on. Now, the information section of this bag obviously would have to be these two books. There's an entire book on backcountry first aid, so how to get first aid. They got sprains, they got cuts and bruises and bites and just a big old list of stuff with pages and a quick index on how to find those items and apply that first aid. Then they give you a copy of the ultimate survival guide. I would recommend that you pull this out of this kit and read it. Don't just wait until you're in those scenarios. This thing is showing you how to create certain knots, how to start a fire, you know, how to set up a shelter, how to make, how to use a snare wire to make traps. 
So a lot of different things in this book, but I would recommend you go through the book. It's not going to be a hard read. Get yourself familiar with it. This is a humongous signal panel. Now, the thing about this signal panel, it is 57 inches by 23 inches. So this is a U.S. Uh, approved. So the U.S. military, some components of it use a signal panel like this. You can use this as a windbreak. You can use this as a shelter. It is pretty thick. It includes, I know these are well stitched. You can use this over and over again. And so it comes with a lot of its own built in paracord so that you can tie it off to a tree. You can tie it around branches. So some more waterproof matches. They give you some chlorine pills to actually do some water treatment. This treats up to 30 gallons. So now you got the two gallons of water holder. You can use that to treat the water. You can use the, the coffee filters to filter water. You kind of got a nice little system going here. They give you paracord. I would definitely uh, add more paracord here. This is about 50 yards. So quite a bit more tender for a fire starter. I'm, I'm liking how much tender they're giving you. And this is a very basic Swiss army knife, Victordox Swiss army knife. Okay. So can opener, bottle opener, all in a knife. The other side that does include a toothpick, which is something I usually would throw in these things. The bag itself is, it is eight by eight and 15 inches. So it's a pretty hefty size bag. And it didn't look that big, you know, before we actually pulled it out, but it's actually a pretty big size bag. All right, so this kit is, you know, pretty compact. Oh wait, this is $364. Could you put something together for cheaper? Maybe, probably. Would it be this comprehensive? I think you could make it happen, but I'm not sure if you can do it for the same price. A thousand D, Cordero fabric for this bag, 960 cubic inches of space made in America, which is just, I think, awesome. The bag itself comes in multiple colors. You can get it in this green color. You can also get it in desert tan, black, or like a fire red. There are a few things I would say are some cons about this bag. First of all, they give you a very basic Swiss Army knife. I think a lot of these kits kind of just give you the same Swiss Army knife. So if we take a look at the Essie kit and the Swiss Army knife that they give you. So this is the Essie kit and the Swiss Army knife they give you. This is the kit that we just got here in the Best Glide. So the Essie kit is definitely a more robust Swiss Army knife where it has a couple of knives. It still has an awe. It still has a bottle opener. I would probably go out and get my own. So this is one that I keep here that I use for um, everyday carry sometimes. And the big difference with this one here, which I don't think I would carry a Swiss Army knife that unless it can do a couple of these things is you got to have some type of scissors. So so this set has a pair of scissors in them, which I'm really down with. They have the corkscrew, obviously you can use it to, or you have a, a wine opener, you can obviously use it to open a bottle of wine, but you also can use this to undo a knot. So your tying paracord and you wanna reuse some without cutting it, you can use this tool. So that is one issue I have with the bag. There's not really a true knife in the bag that you could really say. Also, there's not a way to really process water other than the tablets, the coffee filter, and that's really it. Now, my channel is not the Kit Bash channel. That guy's awesome, but I, there are some items that I would add to the kit personally. I would add in a real knife, right? So you can either upgrade the Swiss Army knife, but I still don't think that's big enough if you're gonna be trying to do bushcraft, whittle, all that type of stuff. You're gonna want a knife that you can pound on with a log. So I got a very traditional military canteen cup which obviously can, you can use to drink out of coffee, all that good stuff, but you can also boil water with this thing. And so you can filter water and it holds a lot of water. You need a real flashlight. This is a Princeton tech. This is actually a flashlight that scuba divers use. I've talked about this before on my made in America gear, but the thing I like about this, it has a very, it has a locking slide. So when you actually put, turn the flashlight on, you can lock it and hold it down. So if you're wearing gloves, 
or if you kind of want to carry this, imagine you want to carry this hanging in your pocket a little bit so you keep your hands in your pocket. Now you can engage the flashlight and kind of leave it on and you don't have to worry about it turning off. It also has a built-in lanyard. I like the form factor of this though. Walking with this like this in the hand, it feels really good in the hand. So I would add a flashlight. I would add another layer of scent protection. And then there's just tons of things you can do with a bandana. This is a bandana. This is actually by Gerber. Um, so I would add a bandana as well. I mean, but what do you think? Is 364 bucks something that you would be willing to spend on something like this? I'm down with keeping something like this in the kit because once again, this thing's about 90% there. So for me, it's worth it without going through the headache of sourcing all this gear and putting it together on my own. Comment down below, is this something you would pick up? Hey, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of Italian. If you like stuff like this, click, click, click here, man. I'm going to put some more bags up. You can check those things out and watch them till you pass out. In the meantime, we'll speak soon.